Hi guys, Luke here from Luke Tech Reviews and I'm back after a short break from filming due to illness and then it was a Christmas period. So this is the first video I've managed to shoot in probably the last 20 days. So thanks for bearing with me and let's get going. So it's not a phone case review I've got for you today. It's actually some cases for my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So if you've got one of those or you think about getting one, hold tight because this video is for you. So these cases will fit the fifth generation and sixth generation 12.9 iPad Pro and they are from Pataka. So we've got two cases. So one is their folio case which folds into several different positions which is pretty cool. And the other one is their carbon fiber mag easy case which has some pretty neat features as well. So as I said, thanks for bearing with me during this short break but I'm excited to get these open and jump in. So come on, let's go check them out. Okay, so just before we jump in and look at the cases, if you've not been to my channel before, what I tend to do is review the latest accessories for general tech, so iPhones, Android phones, tablets, watches, anything like that. Um, so if you enter accessories, then make sure you hit subscribe, so I've got loads of videos coming up. And I also do a review on devices themselves every now and again. So. Like I said, if you like what you see, hit subscribe and let's go on a journey together. But for today, we have some cases for my M1 iPad Pro. This is a 12.9 inch variant and they are from Pataka. So massive thank you to you guys at Pataka for sending these two cases across for me to look at today. So as I said in the introduction, we do have the Folio case and the Mag Easy case. And we're just gonna go through them and see what features they have how much they are and whether that I think they might be worth you spending your money on. So let's start with the thinner one, which is the Mag Easy one. What I like to do is before we go into the product, I like to just have a look around the package and see what features the manufacturer tells that they, tells you that they have on offer. So just going from left to right, it's got a magnetic attachment on, it's lightweight, easy access to the features, it's got really premium aramid fiber material and it's compatible with Pataka's Mag Easy stand. So let's jump in and get this unboxed. Okay, so you might see a couple of fingerprints there because I have already had a quick look at the case before the video, so apologies there. But before we go over the back, I like to always go over the inside first. As you can see here, you can see a big square there and what that is, that is a magnet. And the cool thing about Pataka and what they offer is their Pataka flow system means they have a ecosystem of accessories which are all magnetic. So you can actually put this case on your iPad and then you can stick it using the magnets inside here to the Mag Easy stand which they have. I don't have the Mag Easy stand but I'll leave a picture over the top of this video so you can see. But if I just zoom in, hopefully that's picking up on camera, it's Mag Easy stand compatible. So that's pretty cool. Um, go around the rest of the case just on the inside, it's all pretty standard, there's nothing really that stands out. The major thing I'll talk about this little bit here is how thin this case is, so literally like a sheet of paper, that's how thin it is. So the aim of the game with this case is obviously not a super protective case, it's just to give you a minimalistic case, it's going to protect you from scratches and it's still going to give you the ergonomics that you're not really wearing a case on your iPad, so it's going to feel nice and thin. At the bottom here, so one of the major benefits of using this case is it's got the connectors and as you see, that matches up with the connectors at the bottom of the iPad Pro and the reason you have those connectors is for the Apple Magic Keyboard. So Pataka have added those in so they will go on the back of your case and go into the connectors and that makes this case compatible with the Apple Magic Keyboard. Now that's a really good feature because that means you can have a case and, and use your Apple Magic Keyboard so you've got some protection and you still allow me to use the really cool keyboard from Apple. I believe my friend Michael at Michael's Tech Talk does have one he might have showed it in this video, I'm sure he has. I'll leave a link for his channel down below. Even if he doesn't, just go check his channel out, it's really cool. So go subscribe to him. But let's just pop this iPad in the case and have a look at how it fits, feels, and the finish on the back. Um, first impressions of how it fits and feels. I love Pataka and their aramid fiber. So this feels just as good as any of their phone cases or their watch cases. They do always throw in their own flair to their cases. So mine has the Rhapsody colors going all the way down here. I do love Pataka and as you can see, I'm using my phone as a monitor at the minute, but what I'll do is I'll just grab it and you can see I've got my Pataka Mag Easy case there, which is my go-to case at the minute. So we've got the Pataka logo here, just gonna a quick run around the case. You've got Pataka logo there. You've got a connectors there, as I discussed earlier. You've got a nice, cool, unique 
uh, stripe just going down the edge of the case there and then you've got the aramid fiber down this edge of the case here as you can see it is open and um, that's obviously to keep it compatible with the apple magic keyboard so if you are worried about scratches on the edge of your device this case is not going to be for you as i said it's not a protective case when we look at the folio case that one is probably going to be more your style but as i hold it to the side you can see you're completely exposed on the side so you're not going to be protected just as 100 percent being honest the corners are slightly protected there but as you can see if you drop it it's probably going to take some damage just there and there flipping around to the other side you do have the buttons which are covered up and buttons are nice and clicky you know we're like a button test on this channel and as you can see we've got a cutout just here and what that is is for your pen so this one just docks on the side of there and it still allows you to charge your pen so when you finish with it you can place it there and it just carries on charging same as you would if you had no case on which is pretty cool so it's nice that that's compatible and the thought about adding the magnets in there the last couple of things we're just going to go over so let's just look at the bottom we can see we've got cutouts for your speakers and the USB-C port is cut out there but it's not protected all the way across there is a gap there just to bear in mind and obviously we've already covered that side the other thing I wanted to cover is there's two things is the protection on the camera so I said it's not a protective case but let's just have a look so if I hold it up hopefully you guys can see that but it's not I would say it's not very protective to be honest when I run my finger across it you can feel the kind of camera modules are in line with the rim on the outside so if I was going to offer a bit of feedback maybe raise the rim around the camera just slightly higher so it's a bit more assessed and you do have some sort of protection because when you line it down I'm just worried it's gonna scratch on the table a bit and the other thing I wanted to check was is there any screen protection so I can see let me see if it picks up on the camera see where my fingers are you can just see the lip of the case just there so you got the same on the other side have we yeah so when you lay it on the table uh, you're protected from scratches so your screen's gonna be fine so let's just leave that case there for a moment and let me just give you my thoughts so price of the fusion weaving rhapsody mag easy case 2 is 89 pounds as i said this case is going to be for someone who wants to use the apple magic keyboard but still wants some sort of protection from scratches on their ipad whether that's you awesome if it is and if it's not for you want someone more protective let's move on to the fold case so we got the folio case here and same as the mag easy case i'm just going to run around the features so this one tells you you can actually switch easily between landscape and portrait mode and i'll show you that when we put the case on the case is lightweight and it's portable it gives you multiple viewing angles it's got auto sleep weight feature so when you close the case you don't have to worry about the, pressing the power button to turn it off it'll just go to sleep itself and there's a built-in pencil holder so remember all that and let's get this unboxed Okay, so straight away, I can tell this one is much more my style. Um, I loved the other one, but in terms of protection, this one seems like it's got a lot more going for it. So again, we'll run around the inside and then start on the outside. So this one is a double piece, so it opens out like this. Unlike the Maggie Easy, which is just one, which is just one slice of material. So the inside is made of like a carbon fiber material, so that's going to keep your iPad from getting scratched and it's nice and velvety feeling so it's really really soft on the inside here I'll just start on the right you do have this flap here and there's magnets built into here so when bring that a bit closer when I close it see it just snaps into place so that's going to help turn your iPad off so that helps with the auto sleep feature moving over to this side you can see as per tech I mentioned the case does fold into various positions hard to tell from this angle but let's try it in a second so let's just close that and based on the front and the back it's obviously made of a nice leather material so let's pop the iPad in and take a look okay so I'm not sure if you saw it during the video I think I fast forwarded it but I'm just gonna show you how I put that in again because it was really easy so most cases you have to fight to put them in and make sure you got it in properly this one is magnet so there's magnets built into the case and when I pop it in, that's it. That's how you put the case in. How cool, that's how you put the iPad in, sorry. How cool is that? So, close that, put that down, and there we go. So this obviously, the first thing I notice is the material feels really nice, it's a leather material, but what I do notice is heavy. 
So obviously being more protective, it adds quite a bit of bulk compared to the Mag Easy. Probably should have started with this one first because now this one feels really heavy. And we've got this quite cool looking design on the front and this is kind of multi-purpose. So it looks unique, so it's quite different to other cases, but it also is going to give you the various folding positions which we'll go through shortly. Um, we've got the Mataco logo just in the top right, which is cool. Moving to the side, it's just plain on there, plain on the back. So this is honestly quite a nice premium feeling case. I'm really liking this. Um, protection on this one is, is a lot more protected and a lot more recessed, which is really cool. Um, and then moving to the side here, you do notice the buttons aren't covered on this one. So you've got direct access to the buttons. Um, the only thing protecting this side is that flap. So if it does fall, it's gonna hit that first, but scratches may happen in there and dust and dirt will probably collect in these gaps here. So just something to bear in mind. Let's have a look at how the case folds into the different positions that Pataka have mentioned. So bear with me while I try and figure this out because I haven't done a a run of this case before the video like I did with the other one so uh, let's guess so that's gonna go around the back uh, the case folds into like a triangle and you can tuck that flap there to keep it from coming open and that allows you to pop the device on the desk like that so now you let's see it there you've got a landscape way to just consume your media so if you've got some work to do this is awesome so you've basically got access to a monitor so you can see it's a triangle pops onto it and the other away that's pretty cool and let's see how the portrait one works um, is it in the same position no so I'm gonna hold the triangle down and oh, oh, oh there we go so just as easy so I figured it out quite quickly Hopefully you guys watching me do that means you don't have to do that, but you can see another triangle. So this one's on the bottom right and the magnet on the flat this time keeps it from coming open. Um, and that again allows you to prop it up into portrait. So if you're watching YouTube shorts or something like that, which tend to look better in a portrait setting, then you're good. Or if you're on FaceTime, this looks awesome. What I do like with this case is you can use it in various positions as I've shown there. Before we go into my thoughts on the case and whether you should buy it and the price, let's have a look. So they said they've got an Apple Pencil flap for storing it. So I think, let's have a look, is it this side? There you go, so magnetized onto there. And then when you close your screen, there you go. So it keeps it secure. So the magnet keeps it on, but then the flap keeps it from actually falling out. So let's give that a shake. There you go, so I think we're all fine there. Okay, so that's pretty cool that case. The price of that one, if you're interested, comes in at £62. And I think that one's nice. The leather material feels a bit more premium. The case has a bit more weight to it, so you can you can tell it's a lot more protective. Your Apple Pencil slots in there and it's secure. And obviously you've got mechanism to give you various angles to use it in portrait or landscape, which is really nice. So. Let me just bring the other case back in and I'll wrap up with final thoughts and conclusions. Okay, so just before we finish the video, I think these are two really nice cases from Taka. And again, thank you for Taka for sending these two over. I think they're really nice. Thoughts on the Mag Easy 2. This one, as I said, minimalistic, thin, literally as thin as a sheet of paper. It's really, really impressive how they got magnets into something this small. Um, if you've got that Apple Magic keyboard, this one is probably gonna be for you because you're not gonna have to keep taking the case off to use it you can just keep it on there and use it as normal and i kind of forget about it to be honest 89 pounds is obviously quite expensive so it's up to you if you want to spend that money um, personally i would choose this one this one has a nice leather material fans of the channel who have been watching me for a while now know i love leather cases and as far as the iphone 15 pro max goes i'm currently working on a video to compare as many leather cases for that phone as i can so make sure you hit subscribe because um, I can't wait to release that one for you guys. But back to these, back to this one. Um, yeah, that one feels really nice. You have a nice slot here for your Apple Pencil and it flaps that covers it to keep it secure. And then you've obviously got the folding mechanism built into the case to give you various positions. You can use it in landscape, you can use it in portraits, you can use this one a bit more of a media device. So you can just, when you're cooking or cleaning or doing something, 
you can pop this in landscape and just watch a video or listen to a podcast and it just gives that versatility to use it a bit more than you probably would with this one on the go what i am interested in though is what you guys think of these cases so hit subscribe and then jump down in the comments and let me know which one would you pick or if you're not interested in these cases what other cases would you like me to review for the ipad pro um, I have already reviewed the Zugu case, that's quite a popular case for the iPad and I think that case is fantastic so make sure you go check out that video on the channel and make sure you hit subscribe because I've got a lot more iPad cases coming up as well as some other Apple products if you are an Apple fan. So that wraps up the Pataka cases for the iPad Pro today guys so just want to say a massive thank you for those who stayed to the end, I do appreciate you all. So thank you for watching today guys, I'm Luke from Luke Tech Abuse and I'll see you next time.